Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. The WordPress editor for posts and pages has many features, but today we're going to be focusing on links. Links or hyperlinks allow you to create a virtual jump which go to a certain page or a website within the internet. You can also embed certain types of documents that your viewers can download or view as per their needs. This tutorial will cover the step-by-step -step process on how to add a link to your post or page. So the first thing you need to do when you, when you work with adding a link within your WordPress post or page is to log into your administrator dashboard. So here I'm in the dashboard, then I'm going to click on posts because I have some posts here that I'm going to use for this tutorial. And I'm going to click on this particular post here, which is called example post one. And here you can see I have a bunch of um, filler text. And the first way that you can add a, add a link is to actually go in here and go to a space where you want to add your link. Look for the link option, which is called insert edit link. It's a chain link icon and you click on it. When you click on the, in the link, you can see that there's a URL field here, which you can type in your URL that you want to use. And then you have a link text option, which is the actual text which will appear on the page, as you'll see in a moment. And there's some other options here as well. You can click on the checkbox to open the link in a new window or tab, or you can link it to existing content within your WordPress installation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add link at the bottom of the page. And you can see that the text that I typed in under the link text is what's actually appearing. It's not the link. The other thing that you should notice about the link itself is that it's in the format of the URL, which is using HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the URL that you're going to be using. So that's the first option of how to add a link within your page or post. Adding a link within a page is the same as adding a link within a post. The second way to add a link within a post or a page is by simply highlighting the text. So here I'm going to highlight some sample text within this post. And then I'm going to click on the insert or edit link in the toolbar. And then again, I can add the link that I want it to go to. Now, when you do this type of thing to add the link or post, the link text is actually going to show the text that you highlighted. If you change the text in the link text, it will change the text on the post. So if you want to keep the text that's there that you've highlighted, then you would leave it alone and then you would simply add link. And here you can see the link added. After you have finished adding the link to your page, make sure to click on update for that page or the post so that your changes are saved. In order to edit a link within a page or a post, click on the link within the post editor. You should see the cursor blinking anywhere within that particular link. And then at the top in the toolbar, click on the insert or edit link and you'll see the link that you added and you can edit the URL or the link text or the options that are available to it. Once you finish making your edits to the link, simply click on update and it will update the link immediately. When you have finished editing your post and you've clicked on update on the link, you also need to click on update on the page in order to save the changes. The other type of link that you can add to your WordPress post or page is a document link. In order for you to add that link, you would need to go into your post, click on a blank spot within your post so you can see the cursor blinking, and then click on add media. And here you can see it as an untitled PDF in the media library. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then once I've got it selected, I'm going to click on insert into post. As soon as I insert into post, this PDF file appears as a link. If I need to change the title to make it more descriptive, I would click on the link and then click on insert edit link 
and then change the link text. And then once I have the link changed, link text changed, I would click on update. And then after any changes you made to your post or page or to your link, you would click on update in order to save the changes that you've made. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting WordPress video tutorial. If you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up below. Also subscribe to our channel. Please leave a comment so that we would know what kind of video you'd like to see for our future tutorials. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.